When you're making coffee bread, we called it coffee bread growing up. Um, as I got older and I started exploring more of my Finnish heritage, I discovered that it was really called pula, and I started calling it that many years ago. And then I joined a group on Facebook, uh, Finnish Food and Culture, and they call it niswa, which is from a different area of Finland. So it's, it's interesting how it all came about. But in every case, the one common factor is the loaves are braided. So I'm Brenda Gravel, and I am 63 years old, and I am originally from Northern Ontario, Sault Ste. Marie, a city that had a very large Finnish population, and my mother's side of the family is Finn. While growing up, we spent a lot of time in the bush, because my grandfather, my Vadi, which is Finnish for grandfather, he was a section foreman on the Algoma Central Railway, which meant he had a section of track to take care of. And it was in the wilderness. They lived in the section house, no running water, no electricity, uh, outhouse. And let me tell you, in the winter, that was not the most pleasant experience. So my brother Brian always used to say, we didn't know what lucky little buggers we were. And he was right. I mean, we had experiences that most kids would never get. And my grandmother would have to go to the root cellar two, three times a day to get something out of there. And she never left the house without the shotgun over her back, okay? She was five foot two. The shotgun was probably as big as she was, just in case she ran into a bear, which happened a few times. And then we would eat bear meat for a year. Because we lived up, or they lived up at these section houses with no electricity, my grandmother um, was a person who cooked every meal, 365 days of the year, on a wood stove. And let me tell you, in the summertime, it was pretty darn hot back there. <laughs> the magical things that came out of that wood stove. Oh, well, the pula, uh, cinnamon buns. Oh, her pies were exquisite. But supplies like butter or milk, we used to use powdered milk a lot because it would stay. You know, you didn't really have a fridge. Um, I think I was five or six when they got a big propane powered fridge and that was like made her life so easy. She'd write her list on a piece of paper, attach it to either a piece of cedar board or a rock and we'd wait. 4.15 passenger train would come by, yellow flag we'd wave. They'd know to open the passenger or the baggage car door and my grandmother put every picture on the Blue Jays team to shame because she never missed. Boom. And that list went into the baggage car. They got it, brought it to the red and white store usually, which would deliver down to the train station. And uh, next day, we'd have uh, the train stop and they'd unload our groceries. And that's how we got fresh fruits and some of the canned goods and things like that. My grandmother, my momo, taught me a four braid method. Pula is a sweet bread seasoned with cardamom. It's an enriched dough, so it's a very wet dough to start with. And it, it needs two rises, but it's a bread. Pula can go stale, and it's still really good because it makes awesome toast or the best French toast ever. I mean, I have such fond memories of eating fresh pula. And when I grew up, we would often get it from a Finnish bakery in the Sioux called Paul's Bakery. It was magical, the Finnish treats that would come out of there. But when that closed down and then when I moved here, it was really hard for me to get coffee bread or pula. So I decided I got to start making it. And I pulled out my grandmother's old recipe, which is trying to get a woman who used no recipe to tell you a recipe. Yeah, I'll use a handful of this. Boom, throws it in. Uh, how much is a handful? Well, you know, a handful. Boom, throw it in. Can I measure it first? No, boom, throw it in. So it took me about six or seven years to actually get the recipe to where it, I would say it reminded me of Mumma's. Um, and it was a lot of trial and error. Um, and the, even the next generation of kids love it. They, can't, they can sit down, three of them can sit down and polish off a loaf in one sitting. They love it so much. <laughs> 